<laughs> Been a while since y'all seen that face. <laughs> Out here getting it done today, guys. I looked in my notebook today. I, I, look, I keep a little log on all the fishing trips I do. And you know what my notes for this month said? Hand ties or die, baby. That's right. Today we're throwing all hand ties all day. I'm throwing hand ties. He's going to throw regular soft plastic jigs. We're going to go head to head. Some might call it a 1v1. You let me know in the comments section, guys. It should be a good one. Here we go. Dropping down on him. He's in the mud. Let's see if I can get this joker lined up right here. There we go. Hey, guys, I'm throwing an eighth ounce marabou jig. Oof, I went right over his head. He 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 uh, said nope. All right, so today I'm throwing eighth ounce marabou hand tied jig. Nothing special. It's got a red head with a uh, yellow body and a white tail. I have the spread today though, so I brought those. So I got a pack of those. I got my favorite bumblebees. I love bumblebees this time of year. Black body, chartreuse tail. So that's a 32nd of an ounce. And these are eighth ounces. I'm starting with eighth ounce because I like those. Um, and then I have an all yellow mustard type um, eighth ounce jig head set up. I am topping it with a miniature, miniature, miniature split shot. So the rate of fall is, it's, it's, right where i like it to be he's throwing our typical eighth ounce jig head soft plastic body topped with a split shot as well now these fish they were shallow and they still may be shallow but i think that on this specific lake they're kind of in the transition back out to the main lake so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this shallow area we're going to kind of fish these mouths of these rivers or whatnot and then we're going to push out and check brush piles today i'm throwing hand tides all day like i said because again my notepad my notebook said hand ties or die so hopefully it does good uh as y'all saw that was that fish didn't want nothing to do with us that it was a rock i think it was a fish because it was moving but anyway let's look for the next one and see what we can't get done drop this right there that's a good fish yeah we found another one it's either a crappie that's a crappie or that's a crappie uh, that's a, that's oh, a nice. another ground dweller let's see what happens here there's another one right behind him though here he comes. Oh, oh, he comes. oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh, no, he spit it at the boat. Oh, you dude, he was huge. I know he was. Oh, dude, he spit it at the boat. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, big fish. Bro, he, he's still right there. He's still right there, 16 feet. Catch him again. Catch him again. No, I'll catch him again. Watch Look at him going in the mud. I promise you, I'll catch him again. Watch this. He's in watch the this. Mud. Watch this. Give me a redemption shot. Give me a redemption shot. Let's see. Watch this. He's That's right there. It. All right, 14 feet. Here's a redemption, 16. right? 16. Redemption shot Four. right here. <laughs> I'm so nervous. He won't bite it twice. No, I promise you he will. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. That fish is coming again. He's real weary, though. He's that real weary. He's a smaller one. Throw down on him. You throw down on him, dude. We can get that fish. <laughs> my cast. One more time, one more time. I'm telling you right now we can catch this fish. He's in the mud. That's good. He's laying. Yep, that's perfect. I see where he's at he's though. He's right there. I see, yeah. He just, he's. That's fine. Oof, they're so good at hiding. Oh, here we go. Going right across his face again. There he comes. He's, oh, he wants it. Let me throw him around. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's see if you can get him. Get that big son of a buck in his boat. This will be a dual catch fish if we do. <laughs> oh, man. What do you need me to do? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> He's right there. So that's the fish right there. Oh, my goodness. I think you're going to get him. I think you're going to get him right here. There he is. Oh, you went under him. Recast. Recast, recast. <laughs> okay, there we go. He's, he's only 14 feet, but he's a dandy of a fish, dude. So this one we're after, guys, right there. There's his jig coming in the scene. Oh, look at that. That's a perfect clear picture right there. So he's going through the shad ball right now. Here he is right there. There's the fish. Come on, come on, come on. 
He ran away. He did. See? He just took off. Look at him. Hold on. Let me show him. So guys, that's the fish right there. He took off because there he goes. He's off the screen now. So what? Like I always say, guys, that's what we're talking about. That's what I always talk about. If you lip a fish, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they're gone. Nine times out of ten, that fish is not going to hang around. You saw I got all the way to the surface. Dandy of a fish, dude. But, hey, once you lip them, they're gone. So, hey, that was on the hand tie, too. 30 feet out. Got a floater. <laughs> so he's 28 feet now. There we go. Bring it up. I got it, I got it, I got it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, I hit him. White bass. Yep. Yep, how he's chasing me like that, 100%. I got him though. <laughs> I got him at the surface. <laughs> oh, oh, poquito. Look at that little guy. Woohoo! big fun. <laughs> Man. Okay, so the method to find these fish, uh, if you've never been to the channel before, this time of year we do what's called cruising and sniping. So what we're doing, as you can see here, old rods and reels just hit on, he's on his trolling motor, and the same thing I do on my boat, is you just get on that trolling motor one to two miles an hour and you're just cruising and you're looking left and right. We set the depth, the, the, the live scope out to about 35 to 40 feet and you're just cruising, looking left and right. Now what you're looking for is big floating blobs. So blobs like this, right? You see how those fish are just sitting there. Crappie are real lackadaisical fish. They just want to hang out. They don't want to be all crazy. They don't want to chase you or nothing like that. White bass are going to be zipping through there. Drum, they look like drum and catfish are really long on the screen. So if you're cruising, we call them little footballs, and you come across a little floating football, a little blob that's just stationary like I just showed you, nine times out of ten, that's a crappie. And this is what it looks like when you try to put it all together. Sometimes they react, sometimes they don't. The key though is to keep that bait above the fish. So don't go below the fish. Keep that bait above the fish as you're doing your pendulum or your casting techniques. Now, if you're using something like an underspin um, or something to that effect or your spider lining, those, those jigs will swim right across their face. And that's the same thing. You'll get a reactionary bite. So just cruise, look left and right with the scope about 30, 45 feet out, 30 to five to 40 feet, sorry. And nine times out of 10, you'll find and pick up slab crappie. Oh, I'm falling right in their face. I got him. Oh, he spit it. Golly, dude. Do I have doll hooks today? Son of a butt. Go ahead, get on that 22 footer. There you go. He, you just fell down on that one. Let's see if you can get that one. That's the one that hit me. I would go for that back one. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. You got one coming. You got one coming. <laughs> oh my goodness that's a what is that it's huge <laughs> i don't know but he chased that all the way. i know all right let me try on that 28 footer was it there we go all right i'm gonna go come, come across his face right now got him oh he hit me again son of a gun i'm starting to starting to get frustrated here sir <laughs> I hooked both of those fish, felt both of them. Is my hook okay? Hello, hook, you all right? Look at this, we got dull hooks in here today. I'm not using my normal get set up, so I'm a little nervous. Oh, there's one, 26, 27. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does right there. Yeah. Bring it up. I'm trying. There you go. I'm gonna set the hook hard on it. <laughs> Set it hard, get him in the boat fast, boy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna, today I'm setting the hook like it owes me something. <laughs> a little short, but still fun. <laughs> uh, another one for the hand ties. Right, so there's a fish right there, guys. It's all Roger Reel, all Roger Reel all day. <laughs> Here we go. That's his jig there, guys. And so what he's going to do is get the scope lined up so that, that jig's going to come right over that fish right there. So we're over the fish now. Oof. Oh, he's coming to chase it. Oh! Nailed it. <laughs> and guess what, guys? <laughs> Good fish. <laughs> and guess what, guys? Good fish. Oh, <laughs> uh, all on camera. Dude, that's a nice Good one. Good fish. Eating. 
Good 12 inch. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's what it looks like guys find the blob cast to it drift over it set the hook take a picture put it back repeat you guys y'all know i got a new saying i'm trying out guys i got a new saying because y'all always talk about how live scope's cheating hey we use the scope it doesn't go in the boat that we let all the fish go all of them yep all right now here we go target acquired 26 feet here we go here we go i'm going over it now oh gosh he hit it early he came across and ate it. Dude, I'm about to switch out for these freaking marabou jigs. Dude, that is the dead. That is the third fish I've lost yeah. on these stupid on these hand tied. I don't know if, short. I don't know if it's the hook. I don't know what it is. So all right. Calling an audible, guys. Calling an audible. So what I'm having happen. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That 10 foot outlaw crappie pole smoked y'all. So look how long that tail is, guys. Oh, hold on. Now, look how long that tail is. So what I think is happening is I think I'm getting what's called short struck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set y'all down right here. I'm going to take and I'm going to trim that tail. Because I think what's happening is they're hitting the tail and they're pulling on it. So it's easy fix, guys. We're just going to take it and we're going to cut off about a quarter of that tail. About like that. I'm going to try that now and I'm going to see if that helps any. So if you're getting short strikes, that's a tip that you can use. Let's put it to action now, because that is the third fish, almost third in a row, but third fish that has hit the heck out of that tan tie, but didn't get sunk, didn't get brought to the boat. Let's see if that trick helps out. So he's right here, that's the jig, that's the fish. Come on fish, I'll make you famous. Let's go. <laughs> uh oh, he's turned. Go ahead, son. Did you get him? Did you get him? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Is it me or is it the hooks? <laughs> I don't know. They like this plastic, though. They do. Little, little, little joke. Little, little fish. Hey, Poquito. Hey, I don't know. Is it the hook? Is it the length of the tail? We got to keep testing the theory to figure it out. But Roger Real definitely dropped down and picked that joker up. Let's get on some more. Oh, we got another one right here, actually. God, he's a, oh boy oh that's a nice fish baby that's a nice fish baby <laughs> oh man hey slab city baby hey hey what do you think my hook finally was sharp enough eh <laughs> let's get that joker back in there man what a fish well that one hooked finally so maybe he was more aggressive but the shorter tail finally let me have one Y'all let me know in the comment section. You think it worked? You think it didn't? I don't know. I think it did so far. Oh, I might fall right into his face, actually. Here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. He spit it again. Dude, that's a good fish. All right, guys. Check it out. That's freaking Listen. Listen. I know. I know. I know. I know. Listen, guys. I know I'm supposed to use a hand tide all day. That is the fifth fish that I have had hit this jig and come off so i'm sorry but i'm cutting it off <laughs> i am getting rid of that joker i can't keep losing these fish like this it's just not it's gonna drive me insane it if, drove me safe yeah insane. so did it do good it did do good so if you know how to sharpen hooks maybe sharpen yours before you take them out these are brand new fresh out the bag so at this point guys just for the sake of uh catching fish because i'm tired of maiming them and not catching them I have to go back to my old faithful Dan's jig heads with the keepers, baby. Got that nice sickle hook with the keeper on it. See that keeper right there at the base? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take the hand tied off. It did fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I think it did great things. Um, caught plenty of fish with it. Caught some big ones. But I have, it, and I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything. You can ask my dad right here, Roger Real. I have not missed that many fish in years so hand tie good option hand ties are great options they're doing fantastic they are catching fish but guys i gotta switch back so let me throw this on there and then we're gonna keep going probably gonna look for roamers because they don't seem to be on brush piles either and we're gonna keep catching some slabs i didn't have time to get suited and booted no riding reels already dropping on a mondo <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah 
Look at that. You see them turn? There you go, guys. There you go. That's the song and dance, baby. That's the song and dance. That's a good fish. <laughs> Ooh. That's a good fish. Ooh. Son. Nice one. Dude, that is a beauty. Let's see. Let's see how long we think it is. It is. I'm going to say it's 13. Ooh, Roger Rubin been doing it for a couple of days. 13 <laughs> on the money, son. Yeah, pretty fish. Beautiful slab right there. <laughs> We're at the next spot. We're gonna fish around on this new flat and see how I do again. Got rid of the hand tide, gonna go with plastics. Hopefully, I can stop missing fish, dude. Hopefully, let's see how it goes. All right. While I was retying, we found he found another one. Cast to it twice to no avail. So I switched back to plastic. Got therapist on, got that fresh scent on there. <laughs> let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a dandy. It's a nice fish. That's a dandy. That's a dandy. Here we go. Here we go. Don't go below him. Here he comes. God, he's at. I think what I think Bro. it is. Ah. Uh, That's a damn good fish. That was a tank. Maybe it's not the hooks. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> It was the lightest bite of all day, I can tell you that. It was the lightest bite all day. Man. That's some big boys. And it's, you know, that's nothing new. The biggest fish, I don't know what it is, the biggest fish have the lightest bite. <sighs> we're gonna keep going, frustratedly, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> 26 feet, here we go, here we go. Sure. Nope, watch this. That's a good cropper. I did cast the sword. Is that a gun? Good <laughs> now I cast it seven acres too far. Bring it up. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm getting the slack out of line. Here we go. Trolling motor's going to screw me up. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? I set the hook on that son of a gun. I tell you right now, you bastards. I tell you right now, I set the hook on that sucker. <laughs> Oh, I tell you right now, I tell you what, hey, that one didn't get off. Hey, that's how you set the hook like a grown yeah. man. <laughs> oh, man. Good night. We got the fish over here. The hippie's getting high over there. Good Lord. I'm getting secondhand smoke from them guys. How about that, guys? Woo. <laughs> I just real found one. Found a target, target right here. So we're gonna put y'all, we're gonna let y'all watch live and then go, oh gosh, the glare. Hope y'all can see through the glare. Fish, jig, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's watch this live and in color. No pressure, no pressure. He's drifting in, again, keeping that bait above the fish. Fish saw it, fish turned. Swimming with it, still swimming with it. Oh, oh, oh. oh man he didn't like that micro movement so guys what you saw there is that fish he came across that fish's face that fish turned and started going toward the jig and then you saw my dad he 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 moves his up with his reel here let me show you show you real quick so what he'll do is he'll take that reel and he'll just pop it and he'll pop it and that's what's making that jig come up so what he was doing was had a steady steady rise and then he popped it and when it jerked fish said nope i'm out and he took off so this is the movement i'm talking about so show him how you bring it up with your reel how you reel so that that's the movement he does so like if you're on a fish how you pop it there you go there you go so that movement is the motion that he does i just steadily reel that's just two options for you i also fish with the open face he fishes with a bait caster just options for y'all if you're paying attention to stuff like that go ahead cast on it i'm not even real dim huh i'm not even real dim oh Here he comes. Again? <laughs> They're sword striking, dude. Hold on, don't move nothing. Hold your mouth open. Breathe right. You know the trick. You gotta get all everything. Everything's gotta line up. Golly. 
He's only 28 feet out and I can't get there to save my life today. There we go. There we go. All right. Here we go. And when he hits it, we're going to get him to the boat. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Got him that time. Shut the hook. I shut the hook like a grown man. That's a good fish, man. Dude, that's Get a... that fish in the boat. Dude, I'm, I can't. Golly. Dude. Dude. That's a, Dude. That's a very, very nice fish. Dude, get the scale. Let's get a weight. Just that's cause. That's a pretty fish. Dude. Are you kidding me? Look at that joker, man. Where are we going at? What are we going on? That's a, that's a 14 inch fish all day. That was four, that's almost 15. Here, hold that 14, scale. 14, 75. Let's see. He's at, oh yeah, he's at 14 and 14, I'll close his mouth. 14 and three quarters right there. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh man, I tell you what. You saw that guy that dropped down, dangled in front of his face. Let's get a little weight real quick. I'm going to go, I'm going to say he's about one six. Oh, what is it? One three eight. Still a heck of a fish. Yeah. Still a heck of a fish, man. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let me get some pictures. We're going get to get the release. Ah, one, got some pictures. Let's get it in the water now, guys. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Do your thing. Woo! That's what it's about, guys. That's why you cruise around and look for individual floating fish, man. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> That's okay. Just drop on him. There you go. You're in the strike zone. Oh, he turned. I got that fish. Got it. <laughs> it is a nice fish, though. Caught him sleeping. Caught him. Hey, hey, you know, hey, 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 you know we can't go a video without old Roger Real catching that cat daddy. Uh, silly catfish. <laughs> oh, look at <laughs> Oh gosh, I fell off. Oh man, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope y'all pick something up. That's how we uh that's how we catch them. And, and guys, now you see the difference between using a hand tied jig and a soft plastic jig. I don't know. I think it was about even, honestly. Hand tied's definitely got a quicker reaction, but you can definitely catch fish with plastics. We use them every day of the week. Y'all know that. That's nothing new. Let me get the light right. Sorry. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video, guys. Shout out to Native Angler Apparel for keeping me and Roger Real dressed to impress and looking good as always, protected from the sun. Y'all check them out, nativeanglerapparel.com. Code natives gets you 15% off your first order. Tell them we sent you. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really enjoy this one and we will catch y'all on the next one. Don't stop the dangle. Peace. Peace.